to retired Justice Vikramjeet Sain. This is an exclusive interview to our Deputy Sports Editor, Sumon Ray. Justice Sain spelling out the plight of what the DDCA has faced and how he plans to take on the challenge to revive the cricket board there. Take a listen. Uh, uh, with me is a new administrator of DDCA, retired judge, uh, Justice uh, uh, Vikramjeet Sain. Sir, what is the first important thing that you will be looking as a chief administrator of DDC? I've just received some uh, grievances that payments have not been made. Sportsmen are not, the team is not getting their due allowances. Maybe even things like funds for, for uh, food, which is so essential to all sportsmen, is, is not available uh, as adequately as it should be. These are priorities for the game, so far as the game is concerned. And of course, the overall, the, the task which I've been given is to check out the membership <coughs> and uh, thereafter hold uh, elections so that the true members elect their, their uh, leaders and then there can be a transition. Would you, would you also look into the eligibility criteria for being a member of DDC? Because there are allegations that a, a, everyone can and anyone can become a member if you have the support of the, the top bosses that is the uh, that is something which will be very delicate right now i think even if we can get out disqualify persons who should who are not on the rolls as members that will be a big achievement we'll have to see the articles of, of the club to see whether they have to have some kind of credentials so far as sports is concerned there but are also allegations of financial irregularities in DDCA. Uh, uh, the canteen uh, has been, uh, I mean, it's no longer functioning because uh, there are allegations of uh, liquor being served on uh, uh, first or uh, second of October, uh, Mahatma Gandhi Day, and, and there are many other allegations. Would you also look into that as well? Of course, that would be it. Uh, I think the prestige. You can't have a club like this, or an organization like this, which is, which is uh, breaking the law. And uh, it's primarily a sports club, not a drinking club. So while to each his own, somebody wants to drink and they want, it has to be kept within bounds. And foremost in the mind is that we are... We are... Ms. Justice Mukul Mudgal, who is handing over the DDCA charges to Vikramjit Sain today. Uh, how has been the experience so far uh, with DDCA? It's a learning experience mm. and I've learned a lot about life mm. and other things, mm. how things are run. Yeah. How difficult it was to run uh, DDCA because there were uh, blockage in every, blockage rather, in every... Well, I, uh, I'm a judge. Mm. I've handled many tough assignments. This is one of them. That's okay. one of them. Uh, when you are handing over, what are the immediate uh, challenges before uh, Vikramjit Sain? What are the things he needs to sort out? Well, he has already told you that his primary interest is cricket and cricketers and nobody else. And he has more power than, than me. He is the administrator. Please remember, in the administrator, I would only got limited power. And I'm sure with his love for sports, he has played basketball for the college and Delhi University. And so I'm sure you will do the right thing. One uh, major uh, problem or uh, obstacle before them is to implement the Lodha Commission recommendation because many of the associations are saying that it is practically very difficult to implement it. Look, it's a Supreme Court judgment. Where easy or difficult, they are bound to implement. Otherwise, the court will issue a mandamus. Those exclusive inputs there coming in from our Deputy Sports Editor, Sumon Ray. Sumon, of course, you speaking to them both on the challenges here ahead. Uh, but are we expecting the DDCA now to be ruled with an eye in hand? Are heads going to be ruled there within the DDCA? Well, there are three problems uh, managing DDCA, which uh, Justice Mudgal had encountered. Number one, there is no system in place. There is no heads. And, and the other thing is everybody passes the buck. Uh, the, the monetary uh, issues and the financial issue, issues, there is no uh, balance uh, uh, 
uh, or 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 uh, uh, there is no balance sheet uh, these are certain things that uh, the new administrator will find uh, a problem in now also uh, the players the, the, there is the, the selection committee is not uh, a routine affair there uh, and the, the, then the, there is uh, one uh, sports committee which is now abandoned now these are certain things which justice uh, vikramjit singh uh, sen has said that okay. he, it will be his priority now how well he needs a team as well now how well that team will be because ddca is a very is a, is a conglomeration of uh, of uh, more than 4000 members most of these members are are not even uh, the, the, the many of these members are fake these are, and 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 they have he has to ascertain the real members who are these real members there should be re- uh, genuine election and then there, there should be a, okay. a, a so effectively it seems uh, it's it's a question of starting from scratch there for a tight just to say in there to be heading the ddca getting the system in place being the first priority the first challenge thanks to mon we'll leave it at that on that note it's a wrap on the show as well